Oh, it's good. Fight fans. It's Ashes Corner. And tomorrow's fight night. There's a lot of fights going on tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to talk about two on this video, which is the fights because that's going to be held in um, L.A. at the Staples Center in California, um, which is which will be on Showtime. And uh, it's going to be the main event, Leo Santa Cruz versus Abner Mares. And I'm also going to talk about the Jamal Charlo first Austin Trout fight. And these are just going to be some quick predictions. There's a lot of fights to talk about uh, today before tomorrow. So let me let me just get into it. Um, for the Leo Santa Cruz and Abner Mars fight, I believe it's going to be very entertaining. Uh, probably just as much as entertaining as the first one. But I see Abner Mars uh, learning from his mistakes and not coming out and coming out like a you know a ball of fire and just throwing punches and not stopping. I do understand. Um, Leo Santa Cruz throws a lot of punches and I believe it was like, what, 120 punches around. It's a lot of punches. So, um, I think Abner Mares just came out there trying to take his head off the first fight and he was trying to beat him in, in the punches. I don't think that's going to be a good game plan. That's what, that's what Leo Santa Cruz do. You should stick to what you do best. You know, you're not going to beat him at his own game. I don't think. Leo Santa Cruz got the reach. You know, he's a slick fighter. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. He can stand there and bang. He doesn't need, he doesn't shy away from punches. And he got a pretty good chin. Talking about um, Leo Santa Cruz got a pretty good chin. So Abner Mares, um, he should be trying to counter, if anything, during this fight. Uh, yes, do do get your punches off. But make sure you're not open to, to get hit a lot. You know, he can throw 100 uh Santa Cruz can throw uh, 300 punches around, but if only half of them land, then, you know, you could win that round. So his, you know, he shouldn't be trying to throw 130 punches. He should, you know, he should, uh, which is 10 more than what Leo Santa Cruz throws. What Abner Mara should, should be doing is trying to, to land more power punches or to land more punches, but not, not to out, th out punch him because that's, that's, that was his mistake in the first fight. But this honestly is a it's a close fight. You know, the first fight was, you know, kind of close. I believe this one will be close too. But I'm going with Leo Santa Cruz to beat Abner Mares again for the second time. And um, I, I mean, I mean uh, Leo Santa Cruz can make it a very easy fight. Not very easy, but a lot easier than he, than the first one was by, you know, standing on the outside and using that the, the reach that he does have. But, I mean... These fight when fighters already have history, they tend to want to kill each other. You know what I mean? And that's how the fight, the first fight was. I don't see this fight being that much different. But um, I still see this fight going all 12 rounds. I don't think it's going to be a stoppage anywhere. And I'm going for Leo Santa Cruz. Now, uh, for J the Jamel Charlo, it's the undercard fight. Uh, and uh, Austin Trout. I'm going to go with Jamel Charlo. I mean, I think... It, um. 80% of the fans, uh, the people that know these two fighters, is going with Charlo. And not because of Austin, um, Austin Charlo is some type of bum or, some, or something, because he's not. Austin Charlo is a very, very talented fighter. He's a very good fighter, and he can make you pay if you ain't focused in that ring 100%. Um, but Jamel Charlo is focused. He's focused right now. Um, he's quick. He's on point. He's accurate. Uh, his power seems to be there. The personality contest, but he is forever telling people, you know, keep running your mouth. And he really be the only one talking mad trash. Like, am I the only one that recognized this shit? I mean, I thought they had respect. For, for for Austin Trout, both of the brothers, I thought they had respect for him. I understand when you fighting somebody, you know, you fighting them, but it's a lot of people that fought, a lot of fighters fought each other that respect each other. I guess that's why, you know, one of them wouldn't fought, wouldn't, uh, would never think to fight um, uh, Lara, but the other one would have, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, honestly, if they fought him, they would have had to trash talk him and disrespect him over and over and over again and then turn around and tell them, you're not allowed to say nothing. Keep running your mouth. <laughs> Shit ain't cool to be like, whatever. But um, as far as this fight is concerned, just like I said, I'm going with Jamel Charlo. Stopping Austin Trout probably, uh, later in the rounds, eight, nine, maybe. Um, 
but yeah, this is this this gonna be an awesome fight too. The Charlo brothers are very exciting men in the ring. They're very exciting in the ring. Um, and I give all respect to him to both fighters, to Charlo and to Trout. Uh, may the best man win. And honestly, it should be Charlo. But if Trout stuns Charlo in this fight, you got to give Trout his props, yo. 110%. I give, I give a lot of respect to, to uh, Austin Trout for even sticking in there. Has, he hasn't retired yet. He's still got his, he's still got some speed. He's still, like, he's not, he's not slowing, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, I seen the training he was doing. He looked like, you know. His power's there and he's quick. You know, he's he's focused. The man is ready. He's ready for uh for another title defense. And Austin Trout is very confident that he can beat Jamel Charlo, and that's how it's supposed to be. And I mean, give big respect to Austin Trout. He takes hard fights, man. Austin Trout fought some really serious, tough competition throughout his career. If you check his resume, he don't fight a bunch of scrubs. This man fights true young talent he don't shy away from no fighter and he go in there to to fight he's never scared and you can tell he ain't scared i mean you shouldn't be you know you know jamel charlo is you know it's just another fighter like if you guys are fighters you know and true to the sport you ain't supposed to be afraid to take any fight you know and austin trout shows that over and over and over again um he's 32 years old uh i think charlo's 28 uh, Charlo do have the reach advantage. He has the height advantage. But, I mean, all of that really doesn't matter in this fight. You know, the stats really don't matter in this fight. Uh, I believe everybody is kind of, you know, knowing that Jamel Charlo should win this fight. The older brother won the fight even though it went 12 rounds. I was uh, I was corrected and told that both of them had eye, had eye surgery as far as the, the, the twins, the brothers. And uh, during the older brother's Jamal's fight with Austin Trout, when he fought him, at, uh, he needed eye surgery. And he was saying that it was like fighting three different people or whatever, which is astonishing that he lasted 12 rounds and still won the fight. Um, and saying that, you know, their eyesight is 100% corrected now. And you're fighting uh, at 154, the champ. Jamel Charlo, I just don't see this fight happening any other way besides Jamel Charlo hand being raised. But I do, I do think Charlo will stop Trout either eighth or ninth round. Always like and subscribe to the channel and in the comment section who you think is going to win in between these two fights. Peace.